when I was growing up, Winnie the Pooh was without a doubt my favourite book, and I had a sort of minor obsession with Tigger. Uh, I was just wondering, what do you think it is about this this story in this world that just still has such universal appeal? I'll start by saying four sandwiches in a row is too many, Both. and you should have you should have stopped <laughs> yeah. after after probably See, I two. I got away two? with that. No, 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 no that's on camera yeah, now. Cool, um, <laughs> they say no such thing as a free lunch. It turned out to be the case. Um, <laughs> And then I think the fact that it's a safe place, those books are a safe place to go. I think that that doesn't get old. Everybody always wants a safe place, somewhere where you can feel good and nurtured and have joy and wonder and things like that. And that's what those books still give you now, and that, that, that's why they're still popular. The film really thrives on that notion of kind of limitless imagination, obviously, that, that, mm. that Christopher has. And I, I, I even love that moment, I think, where they're trying to come up with a name for, for the, this tiger character and instantly mm. just says Tigger. That's something mm. we could take days to scrutinise over to mm -hmm. come up with. Do you kind of miss that kind of sense of spontaneity? Now we're adults and we overthink everything. Absolutely. Yeah, you hear, I mean, anything that comes out of Will's mouth, who played Christopher Robin, is incredibly profound. And um, I sometimes think kids are much smarter than adults. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, I'd go along with that. And what was it like working with Will? Because, I mean, he's just so... <laughs> he was so great on, the, on, on screen, but, I yeah. mean, it, it must have been... Because when you say goodbye to kind of a, a, a co-worker at the end of a long shoot, it's always quite sad, but is it particularly oh, sad? Oh, his eyes got, out. Yeah. That's true, and I, we, you didn't either. have to bring it up. Um, <laughs> no, I've told you about the But it was, I felt, I know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's all share here. It was. <laughs> I was about to share something really personal. I don't know why I would do that. No, sorry, I'm just going to put a full stop in my own... <laughs> aborted sentence um, yeah no Will is really really sweet and the thing about kids obviously is that the world is a dangerous place and you have to let them know about the world and at the same time protect them from it and I felt really when we finished with Will I was so sad to say goodbye to him and Marco just kept laughing so that was how we differ I think I was laughing to be clear I was laughing at Donal I wasn't, I wasn't laughing at Will growing, going out into the dangerous no yeah world. yeah good luck with that buddy yeah yeah uh, no it was more at me which was nice like why are you crying yeah when the film starts obviously it's it's when you, the two characters are older uh, late on in their life and you've obviously got all the, the makeup that makes you look older is mm. it quite scary as actors sometimes you get a kind of glimpse into what you might look like when you're in your 50s or 60s because we don't usually get that kind of no mm. well I've had to, I've had a couple different versions of aging makeup on different films and the Daphne's the way they aged Daphne was very graceful and I was thrilled if if I, if I look like that then I'll be thrilled mm. on other jobs I've been terrified at the prospect of turning out the way my aging makeup has made me. yeah I didn't fare so well I didn't <laughs> do as well as Daphne and the ageing. As parents, they are very flawed, you know, they make mistakes along the way. Was that part of the appeal as well, that they're very humanised creations in this movie? Mm -hmm. I think that's important, and I think it's just much closer to real life. You need to, you need to have trouble and strife and problems for the good moments to mean anything. And then I think the film is just about paying attention to the good moments when they come along. And obviously you guys have got to put on accents, but it's more than just that, isn't it? It's, it's the kind of demeanour, it's the very subtle kind of nuances to the way people acted in that time. How did you go about kind of perfecting those sort of subtleties? Lots of ways. Joan Washington was our dialect coach, mm -hmm. an amazing dialect coach. Um, uh, that helped and she was very good on etiquette as well. Yeah. Um, I think even stuff like preparing for the dance, doing all the stuff with the dance <clears> and what <throat> touch meant at that time and how mm -hmm. it was different to what it means now. Small things like that kind of are little pointers along the path, yeah. you think? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And also your costume kind of, you, you yeah. inherently move differently when you're wearing different things. So the costume, all that stuff bleeds into it and, and you kind of get the end result. Mm. And seeing as we're obviously sharing today, uh, Donald, you're in Star Wars, and I was just like, can you tell us anything about that and what we can expect of your character? I think it'll be a corking movie. I didn't know you were in Star Wars. <laughs> I know, I am. How exciting. I am, and I'm amazing in it. Yeah. You're like a part of everything that like people are, like Harry Potter, Star Wars, like you just really, yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, all the See main, all the main, all the main the ones. Pooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter Rabbit. We're welcome to be Peter, Peter Rabbit. Rabbit. We don't talk about that. Mm -hmm. That's nothing to do with Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Very different movie. Uh, but yes, we we kind of have it nailed down. Mm -hmm. And my dad's in Paddington, so that's oh. all the kids stuff. You're, going to but you're not in the DC <laughs> universe, but you are. See, I thought you thought you were going to go to uh. Scott oh. Free. Suicide Squad Two. How? How? Do, what can that's, we expect from that that's one? That's true. I truly don't know. I haven't oh. seen a script, but uh, I'm curious to find out. <laughs> That was the worst answer. <laughs> it's true. You didn't even make it entertaining. You didn't even lied. put a little spin on it. I don't Ooh, know. I don't know. Get out. <laughs> what I meant to say is, 
<laughs> as soon as I hear Star Wars, I go. I, oh, what I want to say is get out. Yeah. But I don't. No. <laughs> you just said get out, basically. <laughs> Sorry about this. I, don't, I have nothing. I just don't know. That's no. all. But I'm sure it'll be amazing. Will you be in it? I hope so. Oh, that's good. Okay. I'm sure. I hope. Right, well, and now gonna... you made me doubt whether I'm in it or not. Okay. That would have been exclusive. Yeah, Especially yeah, if you're right. in it now and I'm not. <laughs> I'm playing Harley Quinn. <laughs> Right, uh, I'm going to get out now. Yeah, Thank okay, you very okay, much. Cool. Yeah, yeah, get yeah, out. Thanks, thanks for that. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> one more sandwich. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!